What is up guys, Real Touch GML here back with another Java tutorial and today we are going to be getting into some animation with our actual player now. Uh, so if you have not seen the last tutorial, go ahead and click that link in the description and it will bring you to how to actually draw our player onto the screen here. Now you can see that uh, he is in the bottom bottom right hand here and uh, we, we can position him anywhere we'd like with these two parameters. Uh, so let's actually get into some animation. So in our uh, game loop here, this is our game loop, if you've not seen that tutorial, uh, I'll supply a link in the description for the game loop as well, but uh, if, go ahead and check out that tutorial if you have, then that's awesome. This is our game loop, and if you notice in our player class, we actually have an update method, and this, or uh, function, and this function is uh, going to be repeated many, many times, kind of like the step event within GameMaker. So, if we go to game, we type p dot update and we go to our player and we say x plus equals 5 we'll say alright now we'll do 2 and we play it as you can see whoa he's moving to the right now how crazy is that that is crazy I wow uh, yep, as you can see and that happens because x plus equals its position by 2 every time this gets called so you notice actually if we set this down to say like one, he'll be going a lot faster. Yep. So, because um, that's how many times it's running through the loop, which is 10 milliseconds. So, uh, that's some pretty cool stuff right there. Um, we can also do y plus equals 10. 10. What am I doing? You're not. You won't even be able to see it. Let's go two. And there you go. He's going down now. And we, need, we can even add them together, x plus equals 2. And now he'll be going diagonally. There you are. So that's pretty awesome. Go ahead and experiment around with that. And now, if you've seen my last tutorial, which I assume you have, I'm going to stop asking you guys, but uh, at the very end I asked you to create a background uh, for, for us. And... Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys actually knew how or not, so I'm going to show you how to uh, put it in a background. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a new method here, public image get background, and then we're going to say image icon i equals new image icon. Well, if I can type today, get class dot get resource then we'll just say background and I explained all of this in my uh, last tutorial and I was just about to ask you guys if you have seen it to go check it out I know I've said that like 500 times this tutorial though so I'm not gonna do that uh, go ahead and import everything and then we need to set our our background path so we go up here uh, private string background equals uh, images slash and then let me go ahead and find a real quick uh, background here so we'll use this one so we can just drag that in so background dot png and ooh, I thought we just did that private string No, we don't want this to be color. What did we do wrong here? Okay, let's g two d dot draw image okay uh, actually you know what this is get background image there we go because uh, actually get background is a is a function you can actually use that's an inbuilt function so you need a color for that um, so just don't name that get background we'll do get background image uh, so g2d dot draw image 
and we're gonna say get background image uh, zero zero and this and we do this because it's referring to this class and we actually want to put that on top and now if we run it as you can see our background is here um, let's see here in our game or no I'm sorry our main class here 640 by 480 what if we do null no it's still um, okay I don't think our uh, <laughs> I don't think our that I that image is not is not big enough that I chose here while wow, this tutorial is uh, just going to hell but uh, <laughs> that image actually wasn't big enough for our room uh, I don't know the dimensions of it but it was not 640 by 480 so go ahead and make sure when you create your background make it the size of your room in your game and that will turn out fine uh, but yeah this was actually pretty simple tutorial so you should already know how to do that from I'm gonna say it again our last tutorial and uh, go ahead and leave a like, go ahead and subscribe, and we can actually take that out. And I guess I will see you guys next time.